In this video, we're going to take a look at using the Review tab here in Word to add comments as well as track changes. This is a great way to give students text feedback and it also allows you to even do some corrections to at least demonstrate maybe what they need to, to, to change or to look at. So first to get to that area, I'm going to click on the Review tab here and that will take me to this area. So from here, I can add comments. So very similar to what you would do in um, doing the audio comments as well as the commenting in PowerPoint. You can also turn on track changes and then show the markup in a number of different ways. I find this to be very helpful when, uh, especially when you're making some adjustments and you want to go back and forth between showing what's actually been changed versus um, what it will look like when it's done. So let's take a look at comments first. So let's use this as an example. Let's say I wanted to make a comment on this, this title. So I would highlight that title and then I would click on new comment and that would open this comment section where I can type it in. Now once I type that in, you'll see that it says who actually set that up as well as what the comment is. Now because I have a system that has got me all connected through um, through Outlook and everything else, it actually even shows my picture and everything, which is really pretty neat if you think about it. If you don't see your name here, uh, there is a way to set that up and I'll actually show you that at the very end of this video. So the other thing you can do too is to make the actual changes. And making those changes may be helpful in combination with doing this kind of commenting. So for instance, let's use this as an example. Let's say we want the student to think about this phrase here and think about it a little bit differently. So I want to highlight real and then that comma. So I want to highlight that because that's something I want to work on. But first before we actually make the change, let's turn on the track changes. Turning that on will actually show the changes that are made without getting rid of things. It'll do a strike through. So I'm going to turn that on you'll see it now is blue. So if you forget if you did it or not, you can always look up there and you can see that if it's highlighted, that lets you know. So I'm going to go back to that area that I had before. I'm going to highlight real and the comma. And I think it should be removed. So I'm going to press delete on my keyboard. And so then what it does is it puts a strike through and shows me what's been removed. If I want to see what that's going to look like later on, I can change the markup. So right now it says show markup, but instead I don't really want it to look at those, but it lets me, you know, distinguish between the different things. I actually want it to show no markup at all. So now I can see what that looks like and have deep conversations instead of what it had prior, which was real deep conversations. So that gives me a chance to check it to see if it's correct. Now maybe I wanted to make a comment about that. So we'll do our same thing that we did before. I'll highlight what I want and put the comment and maybe this time the comment will be so that just might be another thing you can do. And you can do this throughout the entire document can find those items, you can highlight them, you can suggest a change, and then do a comment. So the real value is then the student can go through and say, you know, I really liked how that was and I wanted to leave it that way and that's fine, but that strike through gives you a chance to show them what it was that you said as well as giving them a suggestion. So the student can then go back and right click on it, choose to accept that deletion, reject the change, um, or if they want to see all the other track changes, they can turn those on and off. So if I accept it, then that goes away and the change has been made. So from a workflow standpoint, especially again, giving feedback so that students improve next time, they can certainly choose not to take your feedback, but you can give as much or as little feedback as you think is going to help them. And again, you can do it just simply in text. And this is extremely helpful and extremely effective. I know as a student, I certainly appreciated that kind of feedback because it gave me a chance to see it in context and begin to think about the kinds of changes and updates that maybe that I needed to make. So that's what you've seen as far as making text changes. 
And next we'll take a look at making sure that your name is going to show up in that comment section. We're going to look at, at a couple of different spots that you can check to know whether or not this name will show the way you would like for it to display. So we're going to go up to the file menu and click on that. And after the file menu opens, there's a couple places we can go. One is the account section and the second one is the options. Now the reason that the account would be used is if you are logged into an enterprise system. So let's say you are at your company, um, you're at your university, wherever you are, and you are already logged in through that system, it may show this way. So this already shows me and who I am. Uh, and it has information related to this office product because I am signed in that way. Now I could sign out in which case it would not show that information. So that's one way. Now if you're on a different version of Word or if you don't have this more enterprise version, you may actually need to do it here. So I'm going to click on the options section and on options I have this personalizing your copy of Microsoft Word. I have my name here and my initials. So in this case you can alter that uh, and put it in there. Sometimes what happens is when people install um, Word on their desktop this default sometimes says user or it says something very generic but going in and putting that there then I think gives more value let me let's leave this section more value to hear this section here as you're giving comments because you can see exactly who it is now the other nice thing too is you can encourage your students to do the same thing and so if they're working together and doing peer reviews or multiple peer reviews you can see who made all of the comments so there's a lot of value in putting a name there so hopefully that was helpful to you